alone with her? For a moment, and I lied. Why then, it is not as you told me. For a moment, I said, yeah, let's come in soon after. <coughs> Do as you wish, then. Woman, I'm not having your suspicion anymore. I have no. I'm not having it. Then let you not earn it. You doubt me yet? John, if it were not Abigail, not you would not put you fault in now. I think not. You will not judge me more, Elizabeth. I have good reason to think before I charge forth Abigail, and I will think on it. If you look for your own improvements before you has, uh, judge your husband more, I have forgot Abigail. And I! Spare me! You forget nothing and forgive nothing. Learn charity, woman. I have gone tiptoe in this house all seven months. I have not gone from there to there without thought to please you. But still, an everlasting funeral marches round your cart. Every moment I am doubted. I cannot speak, but I am judged for lies. So I come into court when I come into this house. John, you were not open with me. You said just no you said you saw with the crowd. Now you. I'll plead my mercy no more, Elizabeth. I see now that your spirit twists around the single error of my life, and I will never tear it free. Oh, John, I am only. No more, Elizabeth. The single error. Your spirit twists around the error of my life, and I will never tear it free. John, I do not judge you, and you have not. I do not. John, you do not. Elizabeth, your justice would freeze fear. John, do not judge you. The magistrate sits on your heart that judges you. Never thought you'd been a good man. You somewhat bewildered. How are you going to say that when I forbid you? Do you mock me? I'll whip you if you leave this house again. Mr. Parker, I'm sick. I'm sick. Pray, pray, I can't be not. My insides are all shuddering. I've been a proceeding all day, sir. And what are these proceedings here? When will you proceed to keep this house, as you are paying nine pounds a year to do so, with my wife not wholly well? I made an if you today, good doctor. I had to sit long hours in a chair, and I spent it with sewing. Why, it is a fair pocket. And so I'll love each other now, we you not? I indeed we must. I'll get up early to clean the house. Now I must sleep. Mary. Is it true there would be 14 women arrested now? No, sir. There will be 39 now. Why, well, she's weeping. What else, you child? The girls will hang. Hang, hey, you say? Hi. The deputy governor will permit it. He sentenced her. He must. But not Sarah Good. For Sarah Good confessed, you see. Confessed? To what? That she sometimes made a contact with Lucifer. And that she bound herself to torment Christians to God's throne down. We must all worship hell forevermore. But surely you know what a jabber she is. Did you tell him that? <coughs> Mr. Proctor, in open court, she near choked us all to death. Oh, Mary, Mary, surely you... She tried to kill me many times, Goody Proctor. Why, I never heard you mention that before. I never knew before. I never knew anything before. When she come into this court, I say to myself, I must not accuse this woman, for she's so old and poor, and she's in the ditch. But then she sit there, denying and denying. And I feel the misty coldness climb up my back. And the skin on my skull begin to creep. And then I feel a clamp around my neck and I cannot breathe air. And then I hear a voice <coughs> screaming at me. And it was my voice. And then, all at once, I remember everything she'd done to me. Mary, what did she do to you? So many times, Mr. Parker. She'd come to this very door, begging bread and a cup of cider, and marked this. When I turned her away empty, she mumbled. Mary, she may mumble if she's hungry. Aye, but what does she mumble? You must remember, good Lord. Last month, on Monday, I think. After I turned her away, I thought my guts would burst for two days after. You must remember it. Why, I do, I think that. And so I told this to Judge Hathaway, and he said, Goody Osborne, what curse do you mumble if this girl falls ill after turning you away empty? And she replies, Why, Your Excellency, no curse at all. I only say my commands. I hope I may say my commandments, says she. And that's an upright answer. Aye, but then Judge Hathorne said, Recite for us your commandments. And of all ten, she knew not a single one. They had her in a flat lie, 
and so condemned her? Well, he must, when she condemned herself. Mary, you'll not go to that court anymore. Why, I must tell you, Mr. Proctor. I will be in court every day for some time now. I'm amazed you will not see what weighty work it is we do. Strange work for a Christian girl to hang old woman. He will not hang if they confess. Sir Good will only sit in jail sometime. And mark this. Sarah Good is pregnant. Pregnant? Are they mad? The woman is near to sixty. They had Dr. Briggs examine her. She's full to the brim. Smoking <coughs> like all these years. And no husband either. For she's safe, that bulb. It will not hurt the innocent child. But be that not a marvel. You must see it, sir. It's God's work we do. So we'll be gone every day for some time now. I'm I'm official of the court, they say. I'll officially. I'm not stand with it no more. Mary, promise now you'll stay at home. <coughs> the devil's loose in Satan, Mr. Proctor. We must discover where he's hiding. I'll look the devil. I saved my life today. I am accused. Somewhat mentioned. But I told them I never saw no sign you said your spare time to part with them. And seeing as I live so close to you, they dismissed it. Who accused me? I cannot say. I'm bound by law. But I'll have you be no, not so sarcastical to me anymore. Four judges and the king's deputy sat to know about it but an hour ago. I'll have you speak civilly to me from now out. Go to bed, Mary. I will not be going to bed no more. I'm 18 and a woman, however single. If you wish to stay up, then stay up. I, I wish to go to bed. Good night, then. Good night. <laughs> 